I want to share with you an inspirational story about a young man from my district in San Diego. Eduardo Corona faced up to six years in a juvenile correctional facility. Instead of going to that facility, the judge met with him and spoke with him and allowed Eduardo to participate in a mentoring program called Reality Changers. I've had an opportunity to meet with the young people in that program, and I can tell you they are inspirational uh, and very engaged in, in their lives and hoping to change the community someday. Reality Changers brings at-risk youth in San Diego together with their mentors, half of which are college students from the University of California, San Diego. And for about three hours a week, over four-year time, these mentees study with their peer mentors, they take weekly practice, SAT tests, do homework together, listen to guest speakers, and take part in leadership development seminars. In addition to that, Reality Changers also sends its participants, all of which come from low-income families, to a summer program at UCSD where they take college-level courses and prepare for higher education. With the help of his mentors in Reality Changers, Eduardo was able to turn his life around. In just 30 days, and this is kind of remarkable to me as I had a chance to, to work with some of the issues uh, that he had to deal with, Eduardo doubled his GPA to 3.8. He attended UCSD summer program and won two awards in mechanical engineering. And although he's just a sophomore in high school, he has already earned college credit and is well on his way to becoming the first member of his family to attend college. In fact, I need to tell you that all of Reality Changers participants who have completed this four-year program have gone on to a four-year university. Not bad, considering all of these young people are the first in their families to attend college. I think Eduardo's story really tells us and proves that with the right role models and people who truly care about them, our society's most challenged youth, challenged in many different ways, can turn their lives around and become leaders in our community. I ask all my colleagues to join me in support of increased funding for our nation's mentoring programs, because we know that with that help, we can replicate Eduardo's success all around the country.